When I first found out about this program, two things popped to mind. The first, I thought that I could use this opportunity to freely advertise my business, gaining market share and gaining shares in um, the public. And of course, I'm joking. The second and the true reason why I'm actually here is to talk about my first point, which is carpe diem, which means to seize each and every opportunity given to each and every one of you. But before I talk about the technicalities of business, I'd like to tell you all a story. My story dates all the way back to last year, when I was contacting my good friend, Mr. Danny Wono, who happens to be a car enthusiast. I was 15 years old and it was my birthday, and my father bought me my first car, and my only one as well. And so I, I contacted Mr. Danny one day, and I told him that I was interested in starting a club with him, a car community, which is now called the Bart's Owners Club Indonesia. It's filled with over 40 members today, and when I was first starting it, I thought that it was a great way to enjoy our cars. But after starting the club, and after getting it formed properly and established properly, I realized that it was more than that. I realized that this club was the gateway to getting to know the top Indonesian businessmen, and also getting to know how the high society in Indonesia works. After the past year trying to establish and expand the club, I realized and I, I learned to position myself when I'm talking with adults. Likewise, I also started to know how to mingle with others who were much older than I was because it's much different. The jokes are different and the way you have to talk to, your, uh, to people are different to when you're talking with your friends. And all the dirty jokes are much different. <laughs> so, this may all seem irrelevant as of now, but you have to realize one thing. Steve Jobs once said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect the dots looking back. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect later on in your future. My next story goes all the way back to last summer when I was granted another opportunity to study in the Stanford Summer Program. In the Stanford Summer College, I was given an opportunity to sit in a few classes and also take a few classes. I sat in a class called the Principles of Economics, which was a study of how the market system works and how the key players in the economy has a relationship to one another between buyers and sellers. In the beginning, I thought I was wasting my time, wasting every second of my summer just staying there and in, in not getting any credits for it. I thought I was wasting my time and I was not being recognized as a student who even receives a grade. But my, my experience there gave me an insight. It gave me an interest in furthering my study in econ economics and then starting a business venture as I did today. Even though I did not get any credits for my time being there, I was surrounded by people who were vibrant, who were motivated and who were willing to do something beyond the borders of academia. To my friends and to my wonderful audience today, I'd like to ask you all a question. So please raise your hand if you think yes. I'd like to ask you all a question on grades. Do you all think that stellar grades will lead to success later on in life? And what I mean is monetary success, so. Yes, no? Well, to be frank with you, you're wrong. And that is not correct. A few months back, I was talking with my father, and I told him that I was interested in starting a business venture. And he replied to me and told me, yes, you can start any business that you want. I will help you fund it, but nothing more than that. You have to do everything by yourself, in other words. When I was starting to think about what sorts of business I wanted to go through, I pondered about starting a business in the restaurant or cafe business. I even pondered about starting a business in the online e-commerce medium, like Alibaba or eBay. Because Indonesia has such a large population and traffic without a doubt is a big problem here. So the exchange of goods and services through this online medium could be made very rapidly and very quickly. But I had one problem, just one problem. I thought because of all these great ideas, 
I didn't have any experience. I don't know how to code. And starting a restaurant business would take too much time to generate any profits at all. Your investment in land, labor, and capital is too much in the very beginning. And selling food, selling burgers, selling fries, selling nasi goreng for that case, would not be able to cover this initial cost. So, once again, grades does not lead to success. So then, I started to think about this revenue versus total cost, and I also thought about passion. So the thought of starting a company in the car industry came to mind, and I thought that the car community would be key. Because when you're starting a company, you have to know your market. You have to understand the behavior of your consumers. You have to understand like what types of things are highly demanded in the market. So I contacted my good friend, once again, Mr. Danny Uono, and Mr. Bucha Wujoyo, whose son goes to JIS. I contacted him telling, I contacted them and told them that I was interested in starting a magazine business and that I have started to talk about negotiations with like a magazine business in the UK called Octane. After months and months of just negotiating and surveying the Indonesian market, I found out that the Indonesian market was not ready for the classic car community. Because as you can see, after my survey in the classic car market, I saw that it was only at most 10%. And, it, and that's like the maximum. It could be even less than that. And most of the people prefer modern cars. And the reason for this is that you have to understand that businesses always can come and go. In what sense? And what I mean by this is that sometimes, maybe today it might not work, but tomorrow, or maybe even next year, or 10 years from now, it would be more successful. So it takes time, and, and people learn through education and through experience. As a result, I canceled all my efforts for negotiating with Octane, and I contacted another publishing company called Evo. Evo is a car company is a car publishing company which focuses on a wider range of cars from American cars, classic cars, European cars, Japanese cars, Russian cars, Chinese cars, and so on. And it focuses on a wider range of cars. And I thought that this would be a greater uh, investment to put your money to something that is high, higher in demand and lower in risk. Once again, you cannot connect the dots looking forward you can only connect the dots looking back. If I haven't pursued my interest in automobile, or did not waste my summer, not really waste, but sat my summer through a summer college economics class, I would never have any of this idea and none of this would have ever happened. So my advice to you all today, this is what I just want you to take if you are feeling tired already from hours of just sitting here. Academics is an important aspect to becoming successful, but it is not the only factor that will make you successful in life. In the long run, to become a leader, you need more than just numerical percentages on paper. You need to have a decisive mind. You need to be able to manage yourself, to manage your time, and manage other people. And you need to make sure that all the tasks that are set are done in a timely manner. And whenever you set the deadline, it's always met. And most importantly, you need to make sure to be brave. You need to be brave and be able to accept rejection. Because sometimes people will reject your ideas, people will reject putting advertisement in the magazine company, for instance, and you need to take that, and you shouldn't ever feel down. You can't feel any personal, personal feelings in business. JIS is a school that is diverse. It is filled with people of affluent backgrounds, and opportunities are everywhere. But if I can take one thing from this experience is, follow your heart. Follow your heart, follow your passion, and carpe diem. Seize every opportunity and every moment, every time. Thank you.